Hello everybody! Welcome to a new Let's Play. I am Chris from the Gaming Corner and we are going to play Mystery House. From a great moment in history, Mystery House, the first graphic adventure, was created in 1980 by Sierra Online founders Ken and Roberta Williams and released into the public domain in 1987 to celebrate Sierra's 7th anniversary. They encourage you to even copy this game, so <laughs> groovy. This is indeed the first ever graphic adventure. See, adventure is one of the most fascinating and challenging games available for your Apple computer. Winning is quite a challenge in a game where it may take hours to move and weeks to solve a puzzle. I res adventure number one, blah blah blah. <laughs> you progress through that house by providing two word commands which usually contain a verb and then a noun but aren't always in that order. Examples are water on and open door. If a set of words doesn't seem to be working, try different terminology. If you'd find a staircase, blah blah blah. You may go into the directions north, south, east, west, up and down. Type north or in to go north. The other directions may also be abbreviated as well. When your way is blocked and you can't use directions to move, you may have to refer to the actual object. <laughs> The general, the, in general, the top of the screen is north, the bottom is south, the left side is west, and the right side is east. Because of the difficulty of drawing doorways to the south of the bottom of the screen, there are one or two rooms where the doorways do not match up to the normal directions. If you want a closer look at something, say to look, return, blah, blah, blah. Note of caution, carrying more than one note may can be confusing as the computer will arbitrarily decide which one to read or drop. Should you wish to review past commands, you may press return without typing to flip-flop between graphics and text. If your copy should ever fail to load, you are fucked! <laughs> Yeah, online systems created this. At the start of the game, there will be seven other people in the house with you. Their names, occupations, and hair color are as follows. So yeah, so you need to check this out. You got all these things, so. I played this ahead of time because I edited it to make it work, so that's kind of where everything goes by fast. You are in front of, you are in the front yard. All right, so. There's a welcome mat. Once we go in, you're on the porch. Stone steps lead down to the front yard. So can we open the door? Oh. Dun dun dun. So yes, this was made in made on Ken Williams' Apple II. Look, it looks like seven doors, except it's not. You're in an entry hall. Doorways go east, west, and south. The stairway goes up. I'm gonna take the note. Okay. This is interesting. Now remember, this is the first graphical adventure game. So let's read the note. Valuable jewels are hidden in this house. Finders keepers. Dun dun dun! Green giant. So yeah, we want to get rid of the note, as they said, because they'll get confused. So we don't want to deal with that. And these people will start dying, and we could be killed. So we have to be very careful. What? You're in a kitchen. There is a refrigerator, stove, and cabinet. Because those are all the nice things. So let's check out the cabinet. Okay. Anything in the cabinet? Let's take a look in the cabinet. Ooh, there are matches in this cabinet. We might want those. So we're going to take the matches. Because that is what we must do. I need my original thing, so boop. Of course it's not here. I need something. Hold on just a second. That's what I needed. Come here, you. And now I need this back. Okay. So let's check out the refrigerator. So yes, Mystery House is an adventure game released by Online Systems in 1980. It was designed, written, and illustrated by Roberta Williams and programmed by Ken Williams for the Apple II. Mystery House is indeed the first graphical adventure game and the first game produced by Online Systems, the company which would evolve into Sierra Online. So there's a picture in here. We would need to take this. Okay. So we do have some matches, and we had a note that we've dropped, and we have a pitcher. So, you know, at the time, like, where this is a lot faster of a computer doing this, it used to actually draw everything out. And, you know, in this one, it moves so much faster, it doesn't really, ha it kind of just goes bloop. But slower computers, it would have to draw out the whole screen. Yeah, let's get the water running so we can get water in the pitcher. So the game starts near an abandoned Victorian mansion, if we've seen. The player is soon locked inside the house with no other option than to explore. The mansion contains many interesting rooms and seven other people. Tom, a plumber. Sam, a mechanic. Sally, a seamstress. Dr. Green, a surgeon. Joe, a grave digger. Bill, the butcher. And Daisy, a cook. 
Initially, the player has to search the house in order to find the hidden cache of jewels. However, terrible events start happening and dead bodies of the other people begin appearing. Okay, now you can see here, we got more things to take. We need the butter knife! We can defend ourselves, maybe. Probably not. It becomes obvious that there is a murderer loose in the house, and the player must discover who it is or become the next victim. So that's kind of what we're doing here, is we're trying to find jewels and stay alive. So, you know, obviously a very early, early game here. Um, <clears throat> I remember our Apple II computers at Pea Ridge Elementary having these games. Boy, I wish I had the discs. <laughs> It'd be so neat to have them. Because they're worth a lot of money. Because they're not, they're, they were the originals. This room is, uh, hmm, it is getting dark. You are in the dining room. A dining room. I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. <laughs> so we got ourselves a candle. And we have matches. So, there you go. Okay. It is getting dark. You are in the dining room. Looks like one of those like Christmas tree things that my parents, like my mom made in ceramics over there in the northern part there. I don't know why. So the development and release. At the end of the 1970s, Ken Williams sought to set up a company for enterprise software for the marketing dominating Apple II computer. One day he took a teletype terminal to his residence to work on the development of a counting program. Rummaging through a catalog, he found a program called Colossal Cave Adventure. He and his wife Roberta both played it all the way through and their encounter with this game would lead to their strong influence on video gaming history. So there's a fire, and if you can't tell, we actually used the water to put the fire out. And there's now a hole. <laughs> so we have a hole thanks to that. I like how the match went out. It is getting dark. You are in a dining room. If we look in the hole, that is some sort of key. We need to take the key. Okay. Once they finished Colossal Cave Adventure, they began to search for something similar, but found the market underdeveloped. Roberta Williams liked the concept of textual adventure very much, but she thought that the player would have a more satisfying experience with images and began to think of her own game. Thus, she conceived Mystery House, the first graphical adventure game. So, there's another note in here in this old, dusty library, so we need to check that note out. This game is inspired by Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. Six, seven minus six equals one. Then I am done. Uh-oh. That's not good. That means that six people are going to die. The question is, who's doing it? Where's Laura Bow when we need her, damn it? Although everybody dies around her, but that kind of happens in this game, too. You are in the side yard. You can follow the fence to the... Uh-oh. The fence follows the side of the house to the north. There is a dead body here. It is Sam the mechanic. He has been hit over the head. Oh, God. So that's not good. You can see he has the lump and the X's over his eyes, so he is quite dead. So we need to go through the gate. Oh. That's nice. There are six newly dug graves. With their I can go ahead and put his body in there if you want. So that's okay. Bam, 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 bam. So there are definitely people dying now, so <laughs> that is not good. So we can continue on with the, de the development here. Ken spent a few nights developing the game on his Apple II using 70 simple two-dimensional drawings done by Roberta. The software was packaged in Ziploc bags containing five and a fourth inch discs and photocopied paper describing the game and was sold in local software shops in Los Angeles County. Oh, there's, oh, whoa, a dagger is thrown at you from outside the room. It misses. You are in a large bedroom. Uh, well, I'll take the knife. That was a pretty big knife. It was like bigger than the bed almost. So it was first released at $24.95 and it sold more than 10,000 copies, which was a record-breaking phenomenon for the time. Yeah, ten, can you imagine a time when 10,000 was like record-breaking? It just goes to show how early on this was. Oh no, there's a dead body again. Oh no. It's Sally. She has a large lump on her head. There's blonde hair on her dress. Oh, there was somebody with blonde hair. Uh-oh. 
So Ken, Ken believed that the gaming market would be less of a growth market than professional software. He preserved, he persevered with games, which was probably smart. So in 1980, they founded Online Systems, which would become Sierra Online in 1982. Mystery House was re-released in... Oh, God! The Doctor's dead! No! They would really use this game as their Sierra Adventure line. It's Dr. Green. He appears to have been stabbed. Oh, no. Everyone's dying everywhere. So the game, as of today, has sold over 80,000 units, which, for the time, was very big. And plus, it's been public domain since 1987. So, you know, you haven't had to pay for it in years. Oh, a note. You were in a boy's bedroom. Let's see what this note says. You will never find it. It's all mine. Dun, 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 dun. And it has been proven that, you know, parts of this game ha were used in the Colonel's Bequest, so... The X is over some of the dead people's eyes is definitely something that was in that, so... Oh no! Another dead guy! Well, there goes the chef! He's been strangled with a pair of pantyhose! Oh, dear God, no. Not with the pantyhose. We did get us a towel. We might need that, we don't want to panic. I called Disco Bob, see if he would get in on this. I've got Skype and everything to try this since we're having a hard time getting things set up, but somebody didn't answer the phone, so sorry about that, everybody. I'll blame him. <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't really, you know, I'm kind of doing this stuff at, at, you know, whenever I can. So we do have our butter knife here that we can use. The picture is loose. There is a button on the wall. I'd say we should probably push it. I want to push the button. Part of the wall has opened. That definitely opened. The wall closes behind you with a... You are in a musty crawl space. I'm gonna get in the crawl space again. <laughs> and more dead, and a gigantic key. This is Tom the Plumber. He seems to have been stabbed. There's a daisy in his hand. Oh, daisy, daisy. <laughs> the wall is exposed, there is a loose brick. So we have a key and a loose brick and a daisy and a hole in the wall. I found the jewels! Okay, they're here in a moist... M moist basement. Moist. Can we, uh, can we go out of here? Can we leave, please? Go through the hole. Because we do have the jewels, and we are not dead. So we're in a tunnel. There is a very tall pine tree in front of you. You're at the top of a very tall pine tree. There's a telescope on top of the pine tree. You're looking through the attic window. You see a trap door in the attic ceiling. Interesting. So there's a trap door in the ceiling of the... in the house, in the attic. So let's go back. So now we're in the forest. You can get lost here and die really easy when they can find you. But, um, once you've played it enough times, it's pretty much you just take the same way back. So pay attention to what I did. Yeah, we've gone back into the house. We went from the forest to a kitchen. So we need to go upstairs and get into the attic since we now know that there is a kind of compartment in the top here. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Oh, it's a hammer. There's a lot of Sierra games with hammers. And you don't even have to pick up every item in this game. I mean, you don't really need them. It's kind of unnecessary. A lot of early adventure games always felt like had a lot of extra stuff you didn't need. So we got a trunk here. We were in a storage room. 
Open the trunk. I mean, trunk. Okay, it's now open. Let's look in the trunk. Ooh, it's Blade Runner's gun. I wish. I want one of those so bad. One of the replicas of the Blade Runner gun, of the blaster. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to see that new movie. I hope it doesn't suck. Please don't let it suck. There is one bullet in the gun. So we are Barney Fife now. We have one bullet. Ooh, there's a sled. Is it? Oh, it's, oh, dur! It's the sledgehammer. I completely forgot. What was I thinking? I was thinking of King's Quest V. Drat! My sled is broken. So we have the trap door. Let's climb the ladder. Oh. Okay. There's a note. Daisy is going to kill me. You are in the tower, and Daisy is going to kill me. So we need to shoot Daisy. Shoot. Your gun is empty. Oh, Daisy is now dead. Okay, we shot and killed. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I killed her. We did. So now she's dead. We have shot her through the face. You can see the X's over her eyes. So now we have all of the money, and she's dead. And, of course, if you kill her first, it tells you to go to the basement to get the treasure that we already have. So that's okay. She's dead, as is most of everybody else. And then now we can leave and not die. So we've basically won the game. We just have to leave the house now. Which, that's it. I mean, <laughs> granted, when it first came out, this game was significantly difficult with no walkthroughs online and stuff like that. But since the game has been out <laughs> for, gosh, now 37 years, um, I think we can get through it pretty quick. The bricks break apart, leaving a large hole. So yeah, we're still not technically done. We want to make sure we do 100% here. So, but the game is just about over. We need the key. That way we can leave. I th think the reason I didn't take it is I think you're limited to what you can carry. I think that's ended up why I did it. I played this about, to be honest, I played this for um, a Sierra retrospective that I have not done yet. So, <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and use it for a Let's Play purpose for now until I get around to making the... Um, retrospective later on so we're just about out of here we can now get out because it's not locked and we are now outside congratulations you have beaten adventure and are declared a guru wizard would you like to play again hell no so this has been a sax cat and I hope you have enjoyed thanks for watching